What is up you guys, Wonder Bro here. When a thought becomes an obsession. So for years here on the channel, we've talked about how to handle thoughts, to let them come and let them go. Don't investigate them, don't try to block them out. Just accept their comings and accept their goings. But what happens when a thought becomes a full blown obsession? Sometimes you hear the term OCD right now. I don't think anxiety and OCD are really all that different. They both need to be treated with acceptance. They're both going to come with anxious feelings. Um, cutting compulsions is, is a big part of anxiety and OCD. So I don't really classify these two things as different things, right? I've never met an anxious person who didn't have a touch of OCD um, and vice versa, you could say. But anyway, when a thought becomes an, an obsession, what does that mean, Wonder Bro? It means that you have already investigated and fought with and tried to block out or any combination of those things, a thought so much so that it's become very sticky. So much so that the thought has, the brain has landed on that thought and now it seems like all day long that thought or maybe it's a handful of thoughts just follow you around, right? So if your thoughts have become obsessions, does that change things? Is the advice that you're about to hear going to change or differ from anything I've said in the past? No, not really, not really. Um, the only difference is that when a thought or thoughts become obsessions, they're gonna be very sticky. They're gonna be very loud. They're gonna be very obnoxious. They're gonna be there most of the time, you could say. But again, that doesn't mean the advice changes. The advice is to leave things alone. It always has been, right? The advice is to say, hey, that thought can be there, that feeling can be there, I'm gonna get right back to the dishes. Uh, but I do wanna hone in on this just a little bit, right? Because I don't want anyone to watch any of my previous videos and think, well, anytime I tell myself I'm not gonna figure that thought out, it just keeps coming back or it's really sticky or it doesn't go anywhere, maybe I'm doing something wrong. You're not necessarily doing anything wrong, right? If you're trying to not have the thought, if you're saying to yourself, well, I'm using Wonder Bros advice, but the thought's not going anywhere, you could be going wrong there, but you're not going wrong anywhere because you've decided that you're gonna accept those thoughts, and but they're not budging, right? It's more than likely that the thought has just become an obsession. It's more than likely that the brain is stuck on that thought or thoughts, right? Because you've already given it so much power and so much fuel in the past that the brain just can't seem to move on from it. So again, the advice doesn't necessarily change. The only difference is that you're probably gonna have that thought very often. The only difference is that that thought is probably not going to budge. It would be, for example, a lot easier for an anxious person to just have a random negative thought pop up and say, okay, I'm not gonna entertain that, not gonna follow that, not gonna ruminate on that, and it goes a lot quicker, right? That's the only difference. With something that's already become an obsession, it might not go as quickly. Again, not a problem. Nothing really changes here. And, and instead of looking at this as a problem, you look at it as, okay, my brain's just really stuck on this one particular thought. That doesn't mean I'm doing anything wrong. That doesn't mean I'm ruminating. As long as I'm not addressing the thought, trying to attend to it, trying to figure out what it means, trying to problem solve it, I'm still a-okay. I'm still using Wonder Bros advice. I'm still accepting. So really, I just wanted to make this video to let people know, yeah, you can have very sticky thoughts, right? You can have thoughts that have already become obsessions based on how much attention you've already given them and how much importance and, and how much of a fight you've already given them in the past. That doesn't change the advice. It just means that the thought may be there more often. It just means that it may be there and not really budge. Continue to accept. Continue to say, okay, that thought can be there, but I'm gonna go do the dishes. I'm, I'm gonna take it with me if it wants to come with me. That thought may bring intense feelings. That's okay too. This is not the real you talking. This is just the sensitized you. Understand that the less attention and importance you give that thought, the more likely it is that eventually it will budge. Eventually the brain will get tired of it because you're not addressing it. You're not attending to it. You're just letting it hang out and moving on with your day. Now, if you do start analytically trying to figure that thought out, problem solve that thought, reassure yourself on that thought, start to worry to yourself, what do I do about that thought? Then you're ruminating in some form or another, then you're ruminating. Then you need to say to yourself, wait a minute, Go back to just leaving that thought alone. Yes, I can hear it in my head, but I'm not actively trying to figure it out. I'm not trying to problem solve it. It can be there, it's causing me to feel anxiety. That's fine too. I'm gonna think about what's for dinner. I'm gonna think about this movie I'm watching. I'm gonna move on with my life and just bring that thought with me, right? The less importance and attention you give that thought, the more likely it is that your brain is eventually, and it will, eventually is going to decide that, okay, we can move on, right? And when that happens, 
thought won't be there, right? Thought won't be there. May come back in and get sticky all over again. Again, just go back to proving your point. Go back to not fighting with it, not arguing with it, um, not giving it importance. So when we use terms, and this is another thing I wanted to address in this video, when we use terms here on my channel like focus and attention, that doesn't mean you're not going to have the thought or thoughts, guys, right? It just means that you're not trying to figure them out. You're not trying to solve them. You're not having a big conversation with them in your head. You're just saying, hey, you can be there, right? You can be there. And you can remind yourself of that as often as you need to if you feel like you're still trying to solve the thoughts. But if you're not trying to solve them, you don't even have to say that. You can just keep living your life, not giving those thoughts or feelings much importance they're allowed to be accept them fully for what they are right so again i just wanted to make this video because i don't want anyone to watch my older videos or you know my my later stuff and think to themselves well you know he tells me not to fight with my thoughts and feelings i tried that but the thoughts that thought's not budging you know so maybe it's a full-blown obsession at this point maybe you've already given it too much importance and it's become sticky that's fine the advice doesn't change the only thing that really changes is that the thought itself may not budge as quickly because it's already been stuck in your brain. Your brain is already stuck on it. The advice doesn't change, but the, the thought may be a bit stickier. It may not budge as quickly. That's okay. Continue to just accept as long as you're not ruminating, which means trying to figure that thought out, trying to problem solve it, trying to ask yourself, what can I do about this? Does it mean anything? Is there any meaning to it? Um, trying to logic with it. No, that's not right because ABCD. As long as you're not doing any of that and you're just thinking about and doing other things in the world, even though that thought's very loud and causing a lot of anxiety, eventually it'll budge because you're not giving it importance. All right? Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know, did, did this clear anything up for you? Would you like to see more videos on obsessive stuck thoughts? You know, what is your opinion? Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in working on, um, working on, working with me. I need to slow down. I'm talking too quickly. If you're interested in working with me with one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, reach out to me on any of the Vacate Fear social media. And I think that's everything. I think that's it. I need to give you guys a garden update soon, by the way. Um, everything is, is dying or dead. It's that time of year, but I do got some pretty nice pumpkins growing out there. So I might take you on a garden tour here soon. Anyway, that's it. That's everything. I love you guys so much. And until next time, as always, stay awesome.